the 20s started in crisis, we've all suffered through a global pandemic, really showing us how interconnected and interdependent our global systems are. So climate risk can have impacts on production systems that are important for global systems, or supply chains, or even transport systems. We share some traits the Nordic countries, not only language and culture, but also economy. So we are all small, open economies, very dependent on imports and exports for our economies to function deeply embedded into the global systems. Um, in Sweden, for example, one third of all jobs are directly dependent on exports. Um, more than half of all the food that we consume in the Nordic countries are directly imported to our countries. And then we're not even including or talking about inputs that we need for our own agriculture to function, such as fertilizers or uh, fodder or fuel, for example. It's very clear that if we want to be able to drink coffee in the future with a changing climate, adaptation needs to happen in the coffee producing regions uh, that are there today. And the Nordics, I think that's the last point, is really interesting. I think both because we are so, we have an interesting place or a role, potential role to play because we are so exposed, so embedded in the global system. We also have a big tradition of working with uh, environmental diplomacy, international solidarity, and so we could really play a big role in under being kind of front runners in understanding and addressing and working together towards addressing these types of risks.